let us move to your football team and the offense that appears so explosive. The conversation has been about the hashtag let Russ cook, that, that the offense is different. Is it different this year, Tyler? You doing anything differently? Uh, I mean, I think we're just taking more chances than we usually have done. I think that the best part about us right now is that we're playing aggressive and we're not let, allowing the defense to determine what we do as an offense. We're, we're going to be the one to push the buttons of the defense. And I think that's one of the best things about what we're doing this year. I think we got a lot of great players on our team that's able to make plays. And so it doesn't matter what teams do what against us. We have a lot of great players in different positions that can be able to make highlight type plays. And so for us, just being able to have the opportunity to go out there and play when we see what teams are trying to do, who they're trying to take away, we're able to exploit matchups and exploit coverages that will help benefit us. So uh, normally I know you don't want to talk about anything that goes on internally, but uh, have you reviewed film of DK Metcalf's first would-be touchdown? And if so, how much crap has he received or how much do you think he will receive if you have yet to go over that film session? Tyler Lockett. No, we already went over the film session and stuff, but – uh, it was just, you know, a casual conversation to just, you know, make sure you just play all the way through, you know, <laughs> wait until the whistle is blown or wait until, you know, you're in the end zone. But, you know, ultimately, like, we trust DK and we weren't worried about that play at all. Uh, a lot of people might really highlight that play and make it look more significant than it really was. But, I mean, we wouldn't have won the game had Russ not throwing, throwing him the ball and he scored that last minute touchdown. So it ended up working out. And so it's more so of a learning experience rather than a history lesson. And so I think for us, Love you know, it. we're grateful that we were able to get the win and we know that it's a learning experience, not only for him, but for all of us. You can either learn by experiencing it or you can learn by going through it. And so for a lot of us in the room, a lot of us as, as a, a unit, we just learned about it as we went through it together. But the thing about us is we pick each other up and we continue to play. We don't dwell off of one mistake. We don't dwell off of... Um, one bad play, we just continue to play and we continue to fight, and that's what makes us as a team so special.